Hello, I'm Reese Williams. I'm the Acting Director of the Defense Threat Reduction Agency. And over the next few minutes, we're going to walk you through the overview of the Defense Threat Reduction Agency and how we're part of the ANS family and how we support the department and the nation as a whole. So the Defense Threat Reduction Agency is part of the Undersecretariat for Acquisition and Sustainment. We fall underneath the Assistant Secretary of Defense for nuclear, chemical, and biological programs. We are one of three defense agencies and combat support agencies that fall within acquisition and sustainment. The mission of the Defense Threat Reduction Agency is to enable the U.S. government, our partners, and those across the international community to counter weapons of mass destruction and emerging threats. So within the Defense Threat Reduction Agency, we have five core functions to meet our mission. The first is enable strategic deterrence. The second is to support U.S. treaty implementation and verification. The third is to partner to reduce global WMD threats. The fourth is to identify vulnerabilities and mitigation strategies. And the fifth is to develop and deliver rapid capabilities. The Defense Threat Reduction Agency was founded in 1998 as both a defense agency and as a combat support agency. Under our defense agency roles, we were perform CWMD activities which are common to all the services. As a combat support agency, we provide support to the military combatant operations and the commanders. So we were established to provide the technical, the operational, and the intellectual underpinnings of the department's WMD expertise and to provide the institutional means for a more focused response to new security challenges. So the Defense Threat Reduction Agency has a storied history dating all the way back to the Manhattan Project. That capability was, is relevant today for combating weapons of mass destruction. That durability, flexibility, and adaptability that the agency has shown throughout those nearly 75 years is relevant for everything this nation will face over the coming decades. So our international partners are an absolute core to what we do. We depend upon them uh, to the extent that we actually have liaison officers from uh, Australia, Canada, and the United Kingdom embedded into our activities here within Washington, but also exchange officers back into those capitals to ensure that we're tied with our allies in these critical areas that we work in. The men and women of the Defense Threat Reduction Agency are absolutely the key to what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. In my 40 years of professional experience, military and civilian, I've never worked with a better group of people. This is truly a family. So I'm often asked by my friends, my family, some of my coworkers outside the Defense Department, what we do here within the Defense Threat Reduction Agency. And the best way that I've found to talk about it is the way that I talk about it with my mother. She's 94, very bright woman, has a PhD. And I say to her, Mom, we think about and deal with on a day-to-day -day basis those scary things, nuclear, chemical, biological, and emerging threats, those things over the horizon that are yet to be on our doorstep, so you don't have to. So I say to her, Mom, the things that we do here are we detect, we deter, and we defeat. That's the Defense Threat Reduction Agency.